Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be speaking about one of the most iconic cornering techniques which was ever brought into motorcycle racing. That is the iconic knee drag. <laughs> This particular cornering technique has made such a big impact in the world of motorcycle racing that today every single rider in motorcycle road racing is using this technique for the wonders it does for a rider through the racetrack. So for those of you who don't know what knee dragging is, here is a quick introduction. Basically knee dragging is when a motorcycle racer sticks his knee outwards to the inside of the corner as he leans into the corner and drags his knee along the pavement until he completes the corner. This unique riding style was first introduced by Kenny Roberts who was the first to successfully drag his knee to corner his motorcycle. Well, if it wasn't for him, knee dragging wouldn't have been so popular as it is today. So what got him to do it in the first place? Let's find out. Before coming into road racing, Kenny Roberts used to participate in the AMA Grand National Championship dirt track events. As you know, riding a motorcycle through loose dirt takes a lot of skills, but Kenny was very good at it. It was in the late 1970s that Kenny Roberts entered the world of road racing. Since the Grand Prix bikes at that time had a lot of power, they didn't have a good chassis or a suspension. All the riders were fighting to get their bikes through the corners. But Kenny had excellent dirt riding skills and that is when he thought of using the same skills on road racing as well. Kenny came up with a technique where he used to brake early and get on the throttle as quickly as possible which caused the tires to lose traction and literally power slide into the corner. And that is when he dropped his knee as a support to stabilize the bike. Kenny Roberts was so successful that he ended up winning the Daytona 200 that year. After Kenny's success off of his weird, although brilliant technique, almost every other rider tried to copy it. And his technique has helped motorcycle racers go faster through the corners ever since. Nowadays, every single rider in Motorcycle Grand Prix uses this technique. Although knee dragging has its plus points on the track, Riders looked pretty cool doing it too. Just look at this picture. Look how badass he looks with his knee dragging. The charm of knee dragging has become so overwhelmingly powerful that it has influenced street riders to imitate the Grand Prix riders and they started to try out this technique on the streets as well. Even though the streets are unpredictable and dangerous, bikers kept doing it and they are still doing it. Some riders do it to get a feel for it. Some riders drag their knees on random corners just to show off they can do it. Even though they feel scared, they just force themselves to do it and finally end up forgetting their purpose of doing it. The need for knee drag has gone so insane that some bikers want to drag their knees on every single bike they ride. If you ride a sports bike, knee drag. If you ride a dual sport, knee drag. If you ride a goddamn chopper, knee drag. Just knee drag for everything, man. Look at this guy, dragging his knee on a bloody gold wing. That is an 800 pound machine, man. What is the need to knee drag on that big of a machine? Also, there is this guy dragging just the knee, was not enough for him, so he just dropped his whole leg out. The only aim for these street crosses is to scuff their knee pads as much and as often as possible so that they can show off their scuffed out knee sliders to other riders. They're just proud of their scuffed out knee, knee pads or something. I'd like to make one thing clear that I'm not against the knee dragging technique. I just think that it is best done only when and where it is required. After looking at all of these spikers, you might be left out with one question. That is, is it really necessary to drag your knee? Well, yes, but only if you're riding on a racetrack because that is the only place where a drunk retard doesn't come across the road when you're dragging your knee at 70 miles an hour. Well, if you are riding on a racetrack, knee dragging will definitely benefit you. Here are some of the basic 
benefits that you get from dragging your knee. The first one will be lean angle gauge. You can use your knee as a lean angle gauge as you can sense how low you are leaned through the corner as long as your knees are scraping the ground. The second benefit is increased stability. You will feel a sense of stability when your knee is in contact with the ground and the bike's lean angle is not changing so that you are perfectly stable all throughout the corner. The third benefit is the most effective one that is it will act as a crash saver. You might have witnessed this instance in MotoGP when a rider loses traction and when he almost low sides he miraculously regains control and finishes the corner. This is because he had his knee out and it was dragging on the pavement and that is what prevented him from falling off his bike and eventually the tires gained traction and he managed to get back onto the bike. Even though dragging your knees have some benefits, doing so all the time while riding in the streets is not really necessary. I can give you two very good reasons why trying to knee drag on the streets is not a good idea. Firstly, you can't be half as fast on the streets as you would be on the track and secondly, it's extremely dangerous. Hanging off just from your upper body is enough if you are riding on the streets. Also. If you don't have your knee out, you can grip the tank very well with both of your thighs. I just personally think it's better to enjoy the corner safely in a motorcycle rather than breaking your knee and pushing yourself around in a wheelchair. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave your comments below and subscribe to my channel for such videos.